three things you do while you are waiting there are three things you must do while you wait in his presence number one the first thing you do while you wait in his presence is that you must wait studying scripture studying scripture listen the light of God's word is what destroys darkness in any area the Bible says John 1 5 and the light shineth in the darkness when you wait upon the Lord and you are not engaging the Word of God you are not listening to the Word of God you are not opening yourself to the Word of God you are wasting that experience when you set aside a time to wait upon the Lord waiting upon the Lord means engaging scripture for in many many cases you will hear his voice through his word you will hear his voice through his word you will hear his voice through his word the Lord can appear to you by his word are we together what do I do while I'm waiting I engage the word I engage the word who has faced my kind of situation in the Bible what did they do what did they do what did they do I'm trusting God for the fruit of the womb and while I am waiting for my answer the Bible says look unto Abraham your father and to Sarah that body for I called him alone and I blessed him and I increased him that means men you see I have taught this and perhaps some of you have heard me that the various names you see in the Bible are not just names of individuals but they are also spiritual pathways that produces a kind of believer so when you hear the name Sarah Sarah is not just the name of the wife of Abraham Sarah is the name of a spiritual pathway that can lead to victory are we together now that when you are barren you can follow a spiritual pathway the way Sarah followed and at the end of it Genesis 21 and verse 1 becomes your own testimony the Bible says and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said and the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken When we wait, we wait with the word. Number two, what do you do while you wait? You engage in quality prayers. You invest in strategic prayers. Praying with all manner of prayers. Praying in the spirit, prayers of thanksgiving, prayers of warfare, prayers of supplications. May I refer you to listen to my teaching as we wrap up? effective prayer dynamics effective prayer dynamics I show in that teaching the various kinds of prayers that the believer must engage all of them do not produce the same outcome there is the prayer of thanksgiving there is the prophetic declaration of scripture there is praying in tongues praying in the spirit there is engaging in warfare all of these have their outcomes when you are waiting you are permitted to engage every and all manner of prayer. In the place of waiting, warfare is allowed. In the place of waiting, thanksgiving as proof of faith is allowed. In the place of waiting, creating your reality by declaring scripture is allowed. In the place of waiting, praying in the spirit to edify yourself so that you are built into that fashion that can host the promises of God in experience. When we wait, we engage the light of God's word. We contend for enlightenment through the word as we wait. When we wait, we engage in prayer. We engage in prayer. And let me add prayer with fasting. When you are really waiting upon the Lord, you wait, you pray, and you fast. You pray and you fast. You pray and you fast. Hallelujah. What do we do while we wait? Are you ready? You engage the mystery of praise. You engage the mystery of praise. You engage the mystery of praise. I will call upon the Lord, the Bible says, who is worthy of praise. It says, so shall I be saved from my enemies. Let the people praise thee, O God. Then shall the earth yield her increase. There is something about praise not just as a weapon of warfare but that you can program tomorrow 
by prayer while Paul and Silas were in the prison waiting for their deliverance the Bible says they prayed at midnight they prayed and they sang and all the jailers heard them let me tell you something about combining prayer and praise it was not everybody in the prison who was praying it was not everybody in the prison who was singing but when the answer came everybody in the prison benefited from it that means your family members may not join you while you are praying they may not join you while you are praising but the day god delivers a testimony your children's children will benefit from it it says at midnight paul and silas they prayed and then they sang and all the jailers heard them at least they did not stop them so they, they were cooperating with them in some way the bible says suddenly there was a great earthquake and the foundations of the prison was shaken and immediately i like this all the doors were open how many doors how many doors financial doors marital doors health doors carrier doors the bible says when god came all doors open all doors not some doors all doors open but that's not where i'm going please show me that scripture again all doors open read the remaining line and everyone's bands were losing everyone including those who were in the prison they didn't pray they didn't praise but they were in the atmosphere of those who were waiting can i tell you this no one may have risen in your family but now that you are the only one who knows god this much engage wait upon the lord carry this consciousness wait upon him as you engage the word wait upon him as you engage in prayer wait upon him as you engage in praise oh you are good oh lord you are good oh lord you are good oh lord but thou oh lord are a shield from me my glory you lift my head my sons are mighty anointed here but thou time is up but let me request that you let me five more minutes it's important that I do what I want to do now I want to show you four things I've given you three number one when you wait upon the Lord in his presence open up scripture and learn his ways you will hear his voice when the scrolls are open number two engage in strategic prayers number three engage in praise with understanding now let me tell you the fourth thing you do while you are waiting and I hope you have the faith to believe engage the mystery of sacrifice the mystery of sacrifice Psalm 50 verse 5 gather my saints unto me he says they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice when you are waiting during those seasons you engage sacrifice of your time, sacrifice of your resources. I can tell you moments in my life where as I waited for seasons to open, God gave me instructions, sometimes very painful instructions. I know that most believers are not matured enough to even take this dimension, but there is a dimension where it is death that works with glory. 
there is a dimension where death has to walk in you so that life will walk in others God can give you an instruction can tell you sow a seed not as manipulation with understanding God does not need your money what dies is not the seed what dies is something in you so that life will come out Abraham I desire you to be a father of nations but take thy son thine only son whom thou lovest and offer him as a bond offering let me tell you this anyone who engages this consistently is the man who will enjoy abundance of grace in your faith sojourn that when others plateau others mark time you should be a victim of it too but you know that day that wait upon the Lord as you stay in his presence you get some time alone of ministration of the face of people and you are in his presence engaging scripture you are in his presence praying you are in his presence fasting you are in his presence praising and then you engage with a seed he says you have done well he opens up a new vista and like the eagles you mount up with wings and although you are human the kinds of results that come from your life from your ministry from your business these are results that only God can produce hallelujah so the way we obtain help from God is to stay in his presence engaging light from scripture stay in his presence in prayer stay in his presence giving him praise for who he is stay in his presence listening for his voice let me remind you again and then we'll pray that to wait is first a consciousness it's a mentality of total dependence void of looking up to self number two to wait means to stay until his voice comes to look unto Jesus until his voice comes you still remember because when his voice comes it opens up a new season for you number three to wait means to stay in his presence until you evolve don't forget this third one this is the major assignment of waiting to stay till you evolve because when you evolve there are many things you are looking at now as a miracle that will be a natural reality in that realm we are going to pray I want us to take a minute or so to pray you are going to be crying unto God that every destruction that a distraction that has cheated you that you have gassed out you are weary you've told everybody your problems except the one who can really help you you're going to obtain grace from God Lord I do not want to have a better yesterday I am like the eagle whose strength can be renewed I cry for strength the grace to wait someone go ahead and pray lift your voice passionately and sincerely the next one minute you are praying unto the God of all grace they that wait upon the Lord they that wait upon the Lord the businessmen that wait upon the Lord the pastors that wait upon the Lord the career persons that wait upon the Lord the elders the children the young men that wait upon the Lord the students that wait upon the Lord go ahead and pray I obtain grace to wait I obtain grace to carry this consciousness that everything I have belongs to you that there is no me without you in truth to stay until he speaks to stay until his word comes grace to stay until you grow to stay studying the word to stay praying 
to stay praising to stay giving until you grow in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus glorious name we pray so the next time you see individuals by the wings of the Spirit soaring in ministry soaring in business soaring in every area of life you know the secret now it is not because we are sufficient in ourselves our sufficiencies of God but the key is to learn to wait and if I were you don't wait until you are weary wait as a lifestyle because sometimes when you are weary it becomes too late medical science teaches us that at the point you are thirsty your body would have been desiring water for a long time already so you don't wait until you are thirsty to drink water you take it as a discipline for health and vitality that's how it is in the spirit you don't wait until trouble sends you for a retreat you wait as a lifestyle that every week aside from your daily times with God you dedicate a time every month there is a time between you and his majesty and when people ask you why are you always in his presence you will tell them that is why you desire me in the first place the day I leave his presence then my relevance also dies let me pray for you I'm praying for two sets of people here tonight let me have your attention please I want to pray first for someone who is saying apostle listening to you it is very clear that I don't even believe in Jesus not to talk of waiting something has happened to me I have been in church all my life or I was invited to this conference but as it stands right now I sincerely cannot say I have a functional relationship with this Jesus the one who is not weary the one who gives power to those who are weak and increases strength to those who are without might I want to give someone an opportunity to make it right with Jesus now and for someone perhaps to rededicate your life you are saying I remember making this call before but as it is right now my life has gone haywire I cannot say that I have a functional relationship with Jesus these two groups of people I'm going to count one to five I just need one sincere person who is ready to stand in front here tonight not ashamed you are saying apostle I cannot hear this word that has come from the Lord through you I desire to know him so that I can wait upon a God who is not a stranger to me I'll count one to five leave your seat very quickly and come and stand here I begin my counting now let's encourage them as they come one God bless you God bless you my brother I see a few people coming God bless you please double up as you're coming abundant life can we celebrate them let's encourage them as they come God bless you God bless you God bless you God bless you come God bless you he's able to give you a new beginning it doesn't matter how things have been you can start afresh with him today is the day of salvation three someone is finally winning this war over your destiny the Bible says as many who will come to him he will in no way cast away God bless you my sister God bless you my brother we are a family of faith and while these ones are coming let me encourage someone who is following online here is your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life it is never too late to make it right with Jesus as I pray for this ones I want to encourage you to participate in the prayer young and old come four the final count and I begin to lead them to pray hallelujah amen brothers and sisters thank you very very much I want to appreciate you for making this noble decision let me ask that you lift your right hand if you can high above your head and say this sincerely mean it from your heart you're not reciting a poem please if you're joining them join them very quickly we're about to pray say after me as loud and as clear as you can say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I love you with all my heart I believe that you died for my sin 
I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior my Lord and my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life I am a child of God I go from glory to glory amen father thank you for this once the bible declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away they have come declaring your lordship over their lives i declare by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven and i declare that you are the righteousness of god in christ jesus bona fide recipients of the life of god grace to live a victorious christian life i impart upon you right now you go from glory to glory and grace to grace in jesus name we pray amen and amen now ladies and gentlemen please do me a favor i'd like you to look to my left that will be your right there are counselors ready to receive you they'll have a word with you just very briefly and then you return to your seat let's honor them as they go let's honor them as they go hallelujah lift your hands and let me just speak over you standing upon the grace that is upon our mother and every servant of God in this place I want to speak over your life prophetic words are very powerful because they are able to program realities truly they work in the name that is above all names I pray for someone who is now at the end of a prophetic season and you are trusting God to step into the next season I come tonight as a prophetic midwife and I decree and declare that the door for the next season of your life the next season of your relevance may that door be open now may that door be open now may that door be open now in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says through wisdom a house is built by understanding it is established and through knowledge the rooms are filled with every pleasurable thing I speak over you the wisdom needed for the next season may my God who is also your God release that dimension of wisdom upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the human vessels who must show up in your life in this season to help make for your rising to help transit you to the place of prophecy wherever they are around lagos wherever they are around nigeria africa and across the nations of the world by prophecy i declare that they gravitate towards your life they gravitate towards your life in the name of jesus i speak to someone for your shame receive double 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 in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for someone whose prayer life has gone down you love the Lord but as he stands your prayer life has gone down the fire upon your altar has gone down in the name of Jesus we set the fire upon your altar back to flames back to flames the grace to pray the grace to fast the grace to intercede receive it in the name of Jesus and I decree and declare everything threatening your appetite for the Word of God I decree and declare let a fresh hunger for the Word come upon you now a fresh hunger for the Word in Jesus name <laughs> 